what I'm going to cook today is a pan fried scallop dish with a caramelized cauliflower puree and a little raisin vinaigrette with a little bit of truffle, white Italian. So here we are with the humble cauliflower. So all I'm going to do is going to caramelize the puree. The puree itself is cook ready, just coming up to boil. Just cauliflower, a little bit of water, and then a little bit of soap. Not too much because they're going to caramelize that and then we shape these lovely pleurettes which are going to souse. My scallops come from Brixham. We take them out the shell but they, we keep them with these lovely rows on and all we do is to take these we just literally take them out and just peel them off as I show you now and then we'll just clean them up. We're going to start off with our, bright, uh, with our sort of sousing liquid. First of all some olive oil and I'm going to add some uh, shallots which I just sliced. A little bit of pinch of salt just to start to draw out the, the moisture. Got a little bay leaf, which is gonna crump, crump up in the hand. Just start those aromats coming out, as well as the thyme. White wine vinegar, water, salt, peppercorns, a little bit of honey. Bring that up to the boil and let that cook out. So just a little bit of uh, Huile de papin de raisins, that's literally raisin seed oil. The good thing about uh, oils, uh, huile de papin de raisin, if you make a mayonnaise, it's one of the only oils that you make a mayonnaise with, put it in the fridge and it won't split. So all we're going to do is add some sliced shallot, a little bit of salt. So we've got a light, little bit, small amount, very small amount of colour. So we're going to reduce that right away. Uh, you want to control that acidity, so that's by the amount you put in and also by reducing it right down. So I'm happy there that we've got all of, most, most of that reduced. Now we're going to add our raisins to this. You can sweat them and just plump them out. So look, we add, we've added our veal glass here, which is a, a good base for colour. And now we're going to add back into that now our raisin juice. And we're just going to leave that to cook out. This lovely vin vinaigrette. Let's get it blending to a nice puree. Have a look inside. So it's quite nice and thick now. A little bit of white truffle oil. A little bit of pepper for heat. A little bit of white truffle coming through, salt, pepper. Got everything. What we've got here is our cauliflower, which we've cooked off. Completely cooked. Like any, any puree, a good blend. Very quick, easy puree to do. Just going to put it in our blender. We're going to add some unsalted butter. To this, we're going to add our cauliflower puree. Don't let the butter burn, but get it to melt it. And then what we're going to do is add our cauliflower to it. So we're just going to caramelize this in the pan. Keep it moving. Initially, just get the butter through it. Now we're back to our cooking liquid. This is, this is a sousing liquid. I've got some lovely shaped pleurettes, which we're going to put into. We're going to toast the cumin spice, okay? So quite a lot going on at one time. Got our sousing, our caramelizing, and now we're doing our sauce. So adding now our shallots, which have best been sliced. Again, we talked about fla flavor profile of a shallot. Look, just a little bit of a, a beet up. Don't have to add any salt here. Just give it a little bit of a pound in. Just to break up the oils a bit. Straight away, you can smell. Get it in with the shallots at this stage, with all the butter, get all those aromatic oils out. Now we're gonna add our sliced button mushrooms. You just want your mushrooms to become slippery, all right? When they're slippery looking, that's when you've gotta add your white wine. Here I'm just using a Gewurztraminer stramina wine, which is quite fruity. Fish stock here, which we make using white bones. Generally flat fish, it's got more protein in, so turbot bones, brill bones, so uh, halibut, um, those type of fish. Okay, here we are, you see the caramelization. So just starting to speed up now. So look, get out a whisk into our blender. It's literally a couple of drops. And I'm going to caramelize them. And then in with our cauliflower pleurette. And we're going to caramelize them. This is what we're looking for. Nice slow caramelization. 
Got a little bit of seasoning. Salt, pepper. Then finally, just a little bit of Italian truffle oil, and tr white truffle, keep. That's it, and then just a little bit of oil. Uh, okay.